Hey guys, Angelo here. Welcome to another design tutorial. Today, I wanna to show you how to take an embed code from a YouTube video and place it into an Adobe InDesign interactive layout. So let's get started. I wanna show you a quick and easy way of getting YouTube videos into an Adobe InDesign layout using InDesign's insert HTML feature. In a few moments, I'm gonna go to YouTube, grab an embed code, bring it back into InDesign, and paste the code through this feature. Before I go any further though, I wanted to show you in the properties panel, this document is sized at 560 pixels by 315 pixels. That is the dimension of an exact page here. So what I essentially wanna do is fill out this entire page with the YouTube video. Now you can run a document that's much bigger and then have the, the frame itself for the video sized at 560 uh, by 315. So if you were doing maybe two videos on a page, that, that is more realistic to do, okay? So I'm going to go to YouTube and because of this theme here, I have a classic oatmeal raisin cookie for this fictional baking book. So I have a YouTube video that I'm just gonna place there from Everyday Food chewy oatmeal raisin cookies. Now if you just make your way down, you gotta go to the share button. Now, um, generally you would just grab the copy, the, the short link, the URL, and paste it that way. But in this case, we want to go to the embed button here. So I'm gonna click that. And you can see you get this code on the, on the right hand side. Now you can change the width and the height in the iframe code here, and then bring it in. But because I've resized my document to those specs, I'm just gonna leave it at 560 by 315. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy that, minimize it, go back to my InDesign document. I'm gonna make my way up to Object. And then down below here you see Insert HTML. Go ahead and click that. That's gonna bring up this edit HTML window and you're going to just paste that embed code right into this field and simply hit okay. Now it's gonna take a few seconds and then you're gonna see this is going to pop up. You're not going to see the YouTube video preview or the cover photo. Um, this, is, this is actually what you're going to see in the InDesign workspace, okay? And you could see because I've sized the document to that video, it fits really nicely, okay? So if I just make my way and just center the, the workspace there, I can open any of my uh, interactive tools here just to preview it. I'm going to click on the EPUB preview and you can see that it is in there in the preview. You won't be able to see it on the InDesign page itself. So now that I have my YouTube video placed on my page, let's go ahead and publish this online to see how the work looks in a web browser. This can also be published through the file export and using the EPUB fixed layout uh, option. However, this will not work if you're trying to uh, export as a PDF interactive. So just keep that in mind as well. So I'm going to make my way up to the right hand side of my workspace um, and click the share button and then click on publish online. I'm just going to name this oatmeal cookie, oatmeal cookie recipe. And let's just assume this was the full uh, baking book or whatever project you're working on. Uh, you can add a description. Um, because this is a spread, I want it to preview or to display as a spread, so I'm gonna click that. You can allow viewers to download the document as a PDF. However, this has a video, so that doesn't, it, it wouldn't make sense. You can also hide and share the, uh, hide the share embed uh, options, but uh, I'm gonna leave that unchecked. I'm gonna hit publish. And this shouldn't take very long because this is not an actual raw video, it's just an embed code. Um, and I'm going to view the document. 
So you could see there's the spread, there's the YouTube video embedded. So if I click this link, you still have the option of going to YouTube. Um, you can play it right in here. And so you could see this is a, is a better option as well when you're publishing um, videos from YouTube, but um, also EPUB fixed layout will work as well. So that's a quick and easy way of taking an embed code from a YouTube video and placing it into an Adobe InDesign interactive layout. If you enjoyed this tutorial, if you found it helpful, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to hit the subscribe button to get notified when new videos have been uploaded. If you'd like to learn more about interactive design, go ahead and click the playlist above.